history of whiskey is pretty interesting. You know, we don't have super good records, but we have pretty good records here in the U.S. Um, of, you know, its introduction to the U.S. And, and really it started here in the U.S. after the British cut off the supply of rum after the Revolutionary War and Americans had to look inward for their distilled spirits. And of course we grew lots and lots of grain, predominantly rye, and uh, so they began distilling that. In the early days, the whiskey was rarely aged and I'm talking 1700s, 1800s. So it was clear, like moonshine, the term moonshine didn't exist yet because, of course, it was perfectly legal for anybody to make distilled spirits, they knew how. Um, so they were drinking some clear liquid that you know looked and tastes like today's moonshine. Um, George Washington at Mount Vernon made exactly this, and most of what he was selling at Mount Vernon was this clear rye spirit. And so then, of course, People needed places to store it. It started to pile up. We needed places to put it. And so the only real vessel at the time was a barrel. Um, barrels were used to store all kinds of stuff from meat to fish to pickles, you name it. And um, one of the problems with a barrel after you stored something, say like fish in it, was that it tasted fishy and you didn't want that. So what they would do is they would take the barrel and they would char it. They would burn the inside of it to burn out all that fishy taste and then they would have a new sort of fresh barrel and then they put the whiskey in it. Well, they very quickly realized after a period of time that the charred burned barrel actually contributed something to the whiskey. It wasn't just an inert vessel where they could store it and it started to turn it brown and the, the charring acted like a filter that started to filter out some of the rougher flavors and mellow out the whiskey in a really pleasant way. And so then of course that became the standard for how whiskey is now produced. 